Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another edition of that penny game. I had somebody email me, ask me if they could make the die smaller. And the question is yes or no, or yes and no. First of all, if, you've, if you're watching this and you haven't cut out the original, I've got a new one coming out with a smaller dice and actually a hole, a little recess to store the dice during the game that I'm gonna cut out today and see if it works. But to do this, to make this work, you can scale it down. But the problem with that, we'll get the parallel dimension tool, and you can see this is point, it's basically .125, it's, thir it's 13, which is eighth inch plywood. So, if you scale it down like this, grab everything and scale it down to 75% of itself, it will fit together, but now your tabs are off and they will not extend past the plywood. So you only got 0 0.09. Now this can be remedied. Uh, if you don't have a program that can draw that like box it, it can be done and all you have to do is, is elongate it. So we'll get out the calculator and we were 0.13 plus minus 0 0.09 so we need to move that 0 0.04 to make it that much wider. And to do that, you probably have to break all this apart. You do. So we're going to do this tile right here, and we're going to go to Object, Group, and Ungroup. And now you can use your Shape tool. So if you will set your nudge with nothing selected to 0 0.04, now when you take your nudge tool and you grab these, let me zoom in here. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it'd be worth it. And then nudge that over. And then nudge these over. So nudge all your male parts to, so that the joints are gonna fit because they're smaller and, whoop, and they're gonna fit this way because we've scaled the whole thing. Now let's remeasure with the parallel dimension tool this joint right here, and you can see now we get the 0 0.13, which is the thickness of your plywood. So you just have to do that to each dice, and you can actually do two sides at a time, or two sets of nodes like this, you can do all of them. And I'm just using my arrow keys. Now you can see we've come pretty close to that, so you have to take this tile and move them out of the way a little bit, but you only have to do the outer parts. Now with that said, this part right here is gonna be a little bit trickier, but not really. We're gonna ungroup it. It's gonna look like it's a little more complicated. We're gonna ungroup it, and we're gonna grab the shape tool, and we're gonna grab all these nodes, and we're gonna go up. Now we're gonna grab all these, and we're gonna go right. Grab all these and go down. Grab all these and go right. That should work. And just take, well, I, I know it'll work. So we're at 0.13. So this is a way, if you're making boxes and you want to reduce them, you know, if you've gotten a file, you don't have any way to draw it, uh, you could make it any size you want. And let's just use that, for, uh, let's just kind of do that again. I'm gonna group that together and I'm gonna make it 200% of its size. Now the joints are gonna still fit. And I'll just kind of show that to you. If you use a parallel dimension tool, from there to there it's 0.44 and from there to there it's 0.46, which is your curve. Cause that, this is gonna be cut out and gonna fit in there better. So the same scenario, but this is not for eighth inch plywood anymore. Now it's a lot thicker. So we're at 0.27. So just get your calculator out. 0.27 minus 0.13. Now we need to move them 0.14. So change your nudge factor to 0.14. Let's get rid of this. 
and get your shape tool. We have to ungroup it because that dot is in the way. The dot's part of the group. Grab all these. You have to hit the shape tool. Grab all these and, and nudge it. It's going to kind of look funny because it's really a piece of wood. Small piece. Whoop. I failed to grab that one. And now this is quite a bit larger, but you can make it out of eighth inch plywood. Let's just test our theory, grabbing the parallel dimension tool. You know what? I did it. I did it the wrong direction. Sorry about that. We should have gone in because we made it bigger. So let's grab the nudge tool, and this time we'll we'll double click it twice because we went the other way. That makes it look a lot better. I was kind of thinking that kind of looked funny. But now let's measure a joint. Even though the box looks a lot bigger, it's still pointing. And you have to be right on that node, 0.13. So this, this is a little bit over two inch box, but it's still made out of eighth inch plywood. So I hope that answered his question. And if you have not cut out this file yet, if you want to wait, hopefully later today, I'm going to post a new one that's going to be smaller dice. My wife actually thought the dice was too big. It's going to have smaller dice, and I'm going to have a recess box in there to hold the dice for storage. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.